Today, I'll be pitching with Jacob DeGrom as a zero overall. Every strikeout, inning pitched, and win will give us points to upgrade DeGrom. Pitching with a zero overall pitcher is going to be really difficult, but we need to get him to 99 overall to prove he is the best pitcher in the MLB. And he'll need to beat each of these MLB aces to prove it. And now it's time for game number one against the Rays in Shane McClanahan. Let's see what Jacob DeGrom with zero velocity looks like. 83 miles an hour? Yikes, dude. Come on, two strikes you could do with DeGrom. Bang! That's a tough scene, striking out to zero overall Jacob DeGrom. And we have our first 25 points. For this challenge, we'll get 25 points for every inning pitch, 25 points for every strikeout, and 100 points for every win. There we go. We got our first inning pitched. But my luck would quickly change in the second inning with this one-out single. The next hitter would hit him in. And that's our first run allowed. That's not good. Because every run we give up, we'll lose 25 points. And since the ground sucked so much, he gave up another hit, then leading to another run, putting us down 2 nothing. But zero overall, DeGrom had that dog in him, and he managed to get out of this inning, keeping the score at 2 nothing so far. But in the third inning, he returned to form by giving up this double to start the inning. Yikes. All right, we're going to need to work our butts off to get out of this. But since the ground pitched so slow, he also had a lot of control. Yes! So we hit some corners and got out of this inning, keeping it 2 nothing. But in the fourth thing, the tides would turn, and DeGrom started to get these weak contact outs, and three straight ground outs made this a very easy fourth inning. Woo! There's the strikeout, and we'd get another weak ground out, but the good couldn't last forever because we gave up this dinky hit down the line, and we tried to use our control to get a big strikeout. Nope. Oh, that strike three, DeGrom. Hit the spot, buddy. Yikes, dude. And we had to face one of the most clutch hitters in the game, Randy Rosarena. That works. We got out of trouble. And DeGrom kept going into the sixth. Woo! Backdoor slider somehow works. Bang! Another strikeout for DeGrom. We were through another inning, but the Rangers offense couldn't score. So the score was still 2-0 and we got pulled. Well, the Rangers lose 4-2. But McClanahan also gave up two earned runs. So no win bonus for us, but he basically pitched as well as Jane McClanahan. So I call that a minor victory. Getting us to 225 points after game one. Let's boost up his hits per nine, his strikeouts per nine, his walks per nine. So now he has enough attributes to hopefully get some outs. But as only a 56 overall, I don't think he's going to get the job done. So for game number two, we'll be taking on the Marlins in the NL Cy Young Award winner, Sandy Alcantara. The pitches still stink, but we're going to get a strikeout to start us off. This the ground was looking different, getting a couple weak hit outs to end this first inning, and we had ourselves a nice little first inning to start off game two. Come on, we got a two strike count on Jazz. I'd love a strikeout here. Woo! Dotted him with 81 miles an hour. Strike it out the cover athlete. And the strikeout just kept coming against this really bad Marlins lineup. And we strike out the side. The Marlins managed to get a runner on on this weird single to start the third. But this rally would quickly end with a quick double play and another strikeout to end the inning. But we still had the pitch well because it was still nothing, nothing. So in the fourth inning, DeGrom got some weak contact throughout the entire inning and again gave up a weird blue pit to the outfield that was quickly ended by this Jazz Chisholm ground out. Bang! DeGrom is him! DeGrom continued to battle, picking up his seventh strikeout and getting through the fifth really easily. And the story would stay the same in the sixth. He would give up a lucky hit to start us off, but quickly get out of it with a strikeout fly out, and another strikeout to end the inning. Oh my goodness, they got seven runs in the sixth? Sandy gave up four runs. I'll just get this win here. And clearly DeGrom was locked in, as in this seventh inning, he probably had his best inning yet. This is nuts. And somehow as a 57 overall, he was shoving. 14 strikeouts. Tapping off six straight strikeouts in the last two innings. And his start would end there because he still had zero stamina rating. But 
Before we pick up the 8 nothing win, we outdueled Sandy Alcantara. And with our 8 innings pitched, 15 strikeouts, and the win, we got 675 points that game. Let's spend 100 points to get him to max stamina. So we upgraded each of the pitches up to 50 control, velocity, and break. Except for the 2 seam, which we got up to 25 and everything. So the Grom stays at a 57 overall, but the pitches are now a lot better. And that matters a lot because we'll be going up against the Angels and taking down Shohei Otani. So this lineup's a lot better. We reached the 90 mile per hour mark with the fastball, but for someone who throws 100, it still doesn't look right. But he was off to a hot start this game. Woo! Dot on Mike Trout. And we strike out the side to start off the first. And the strikeouts were coming for DeGrom. Now that his pitches had some movement to it, the Angels were going down like flies. Six strikeouts in a row to start. And he was on cruise control. He got two quick outs here in the third inning. And even though he gives up this single that almost killed him, he ends up picking up his seventh strikeout in the third. The Rangers gave us one run of cushion, but the Angels still have a lineup with guys like Mike Trout that could easily tie the game. Can't really be shocked by that. He's one of the best players in baseball. And even though this inning had a leadoff run, the Grom went right back to form, getting a strikeout and a quick double play. And it seemed like even the umpires were on my side this game. Wow, they called him on that. And we were cruising through five innings here. But we still had to be on points. This was a one-run game, and DeGrom ended up picking up a few more strikeouts and was looking really good still. After this strikeout to start the seventh, Hunter Renfro hit this bloop double that got the tying runner on second. Oh, uh, that's scary. Which gave Anthony Rendon a chance to tie the game, and he hit this grounder up the middle, and I'm still not really sure what happened. That was the worst pace running decision I've ever seen. And Brandon Jury put up a really good swing on this slider, but not good enough and we held the one nothing lead through seven. Zero stamina DeGrom came out in the eighth with a two nothing lead now. And the only way we would get through this inning was with a one, two, three inning since he was really low on energy. But we do get two quick outs, but after getting ahead 0-2 to Matt Thais, we threw four straight balls and ended up walking him. And that marked the end for DeGrom's start today. Kind of blew it there. But the bullpen had held his 2-0 lead until the ninth with one strike left. Until Anthony Rendon came up and did this. We're literally one out away from getting the win. And LeClerc just gave up a solo homer. Oh no. But LeClerc got the final out and we end up picking up the 2-1 win. Against a way better offense, he pitched 7 and 2 thirds innings. And Shohei, you sold the bag there, buddy. So that ended up being a 600 point game. I started off by getting 99 stamina. I used 50. 50 points to get the home runs per nine up. I got every single pitch to 99 velocity and also 75 break. The pitches are going to be a lot better now. The bad news is since he's throwing a lot harder, they become a lot more difficult to control. But now we're going to go up against his former team, the Mets and Justin Verlander. We got to prove to the Mets it was a bad decision to let DeGrom go. And I think the Mets have the best overall offense of any team so far. So this is going to be a good test for DeGrom. Oh yeah, 101 on the dot. And his pitches had new life with the 99 velocity. And started off with a two strikeout first inning. And his changeup became an incredible pitch. Good luck hitting 100 miles an hour, but also 70 miles an hour. And DeGrom was dicing up the Mets lineup. He gave up this single though. But again, for some reason, the base running got really weird. You could just get thrown out at second, Brandon Nimmo. But with the harder pitches, the Mets were also hitting the ball harder. So Mark Hanna almost hit a home run here. I was terrified. We got a 1-0 lead. Hey, there's a good shot. It's the only run this team scores. And he hungered back down and got a strikeout. But that lack of control hurt us because he hung a curveball to Starling Marte. That's going to be a run. There goes our 1-0 lead. And that really slow changeup proved effective and we got out of the inning. We got to keep this at one run allowed here. Oh my goodness, nine runs? What is going on with the other pitchers? Why is everyone selling? This eight run lead was really comfortable. So we started to pitch aggressive and the Grom was being really efficient. And he started to tally up the strikeouts by hitting some really good dots with some sliders and changeups. But this inning got really weird with a couple weird plays in the field. And this bad defense started the rally, which was definitely not good because we eventually got the bases loaded on this hit by pitch. 
But we pulled out the nasty stuff in this at bat against Lindor. And we end up getting the strikeout. The strand of bases loaded. And we were flying through the last part of this game. Rolling through the Mets offense. Making them look like trash. And we had a shot at a complete game. But Corey Seager sold again in the field. So we couldn't even let the ball go into the field. The Grom had to strike out two of the last three hitters. And we finished a complete game. Complete game for Jacob DeGrom. So that ended up being a 700 point game. Justin Verlander pooped the bed there. With that game, 600 points went to getting every attribute to 99 overall. So now DeGrom is fully upgraded on the pitching side. So now that he's a 99 overall, we have one final test. And it's going to be his toughest one yet. Clayton Kershaw has been the guy in the league just as long as DeGrom, basically. So I made Clayton Kershaw also 99 overall. So we'll need to beat the Dodgers and take down this Clayton Kershaw. who's going to be just as good as our Jacob DeGrom. And we'll be playing on legend difficulty, the hardest difficulty in the game. And 99 DeGrom was looking good, getting too easy out to start off the game. But then this fly ball was hit by Will Smith. One, two, three inning. That got a little scary there. The second inning started off with a strikeout, but we ended up giving up our first hit to JD Martinez. And his Dodgers lineup was making a lot of good contact, but we got out of it with a double play. So DeGrom was doing all right. The third inning started with another hard hit swing that luckily turned into an out, but we got two strikeouts to end the inning. We're heating up another strikeout. After this strikeout to start the fourth, we had another scary swing from Freddie Freeman. This one carried a long way, but this perfect, perfect stayed in the ballpark. This is terrifying, and we induced a ground out to end the fourth inning. Look at the bounce back from the defense. And this game was still nothing, nothing. Oh my goodness, there we go. And DeGrom had to still be on his game, and he definitely was here through five innings. Well, DeGrom's looking good. The offense is in. And in the sixth inning, the pitcher's duel kept going. Both pitchers were not allowing any runs here so far. DeGrom is doing his job out there, but both teams have only one hit. And DeGrom was building confidence out there. It was looking really good by the time the seventh inning came around, even against his good lineup. After this strikeout to start off the eighth, we accidentally hung a slider and JD Martinez made us pay for it. Oh no, it's going to be a double. And DeGrom bounced back and got this strikeout to get two outs. And then for some reason, whoever pinch ran on second sold. We're out of the inning. Oh my goodness, they scored four runs. How did that happen? Kershaw finally broke and that gave us our chance to get the final three outs. Bang! There's two outs. There we go. Jacob DeGrom goes complete game shutout and out duels Clayton Kershaw. That cements that Jacob DeGrom is the best pitcher in baseball. And he took down all of the aces and got him all the way up to 99 overall. If you enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up. And if you want to see more, make sure you check out this video over here where I upgrade Fernando Tatis Jr. up to 99 overall. I think you'll enjoy that one.